back to Real News. I'm Jenna. I'm Amaya Johnson. And this is your bi-monthly dose of news. So to start off today, we're going to talk about U.S. news. In U.S. news, a Texas gunman entered a church Sunday morning armed with an assault rifle and killed 26 people ages ranging from 17 months to 77 years old. The gunman did have a history with violence and it was obsessed with the domestic dispute officials have said. Also, the first charges have been filed in view of their investigation. Last Friday, a federal grand jury in Washington approved the first charges toward the investigation. In local news, a family is pressing charges against several teenagers in Wahoo, Nebraska after their son received death threats at school. 14-year-old LJ explained that he had been punched, kicked, and shoved into lockers at school. The school has released a statement regarding the situation. In world news on Tuesday, President Donald Trump spoke to North Korea, warning them that he was prepared to use full-range military power to stop any attacks that may happen. He also said we cannot allow North Korea to threaten all we have built when he was speaking to the South Korean president. Also, in other news, Disney will no longer prevent LA Times from advanced screenings of their movies following backlashes from different news outlets and journalists who are also boycotting the same screenings. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. In sports news today, the... Um, in sports news today, three you say... LA college basketball students were arrested Tuesday for shoplifting in China and could face two to five years in prison if convicted. They were released on bail according to some recent reports from ESPN. It's not good at all. That's not looking good for UCLA at all. They have yeah, released a I don't statement. Know. I just, I don't know. I guess shoplifting, if that's what you want to do, you can do it, but come on guys, yeah, basketball Seems players. like they're out in China doing that. Well, that's it for Old News Today. I'm Amaya Johnson. And I'm Jenna Hammond, and we will see you back here in about a week and a half. Yeah.